Introduction Cap Haitian, French, Cap A, Haitian Creole, Cap Haitian, Haitian Cape, typically spelled Cape Haitian in English and often locally referred to as Le Cap, O Cap, or Au Cap, is a commune of about 190,000 people on the north coast of Haiti and capital of the Department of Nord. Previously named Cap Francais, Haitian Creole, Cap Francais, initially Cap Francois or Haitian Creole, Cap Francois, and Cap Henry, Haitian Creole, Cap Henry, during the rule of Henri I, it was historically nicknamed the Paris of the Antilles because of its wealth and sophistication, expressed through its architecture and artistic life. It was an important city during the colonial period, serving as the capital of the French colony of Saint-Domingue from the city's formal foundation in 1711 until 1770, when the capital was moved to Port-au-Prince. After the Haitian Revolution, it became the capital of the Kingdom of Haiti under King Henry I until 1820. Cap Haitian's long history of independent thought was formed in part by its relative distance from Port-au-Prince, the barrier of mountains between it and the southern part of the country, and a history of large African populations. These contributed to making it a legendary incubator of independent movements since slavery times. For instance, from February 5, 29, 2004, the city was taken over by militants who opposed the rule of the Haitian president Jean Bertrand Aristide. They eventually created enough political pressure to force him out of office and the country. Cap Haitian is near the historic Haitian town of Milo, which lies 19 kilometers, 12 mi, to the southwest along a gravel road. Milot was Haiti's first capital under the self-proclaimed King Henry Christophe, who ascended to power in 1807, three years after Haiti had gained independence from France. He renamed Cap Francais as Cap Henry. Milot is the site of his Sanssouci Palace, wrecked by the 1842 earthquake. The Citadel Laferriere, a massive stone fortress bristling with cannons atop a nearby mountain, is eight kilometers, five miles away. On clear days, its silhouette is visible from Cap Haitian. The small Cap Haitian International Airport, located on the southeast edge of the city, is served by several small domestic airlines. It was patrolled by Chilean UN troops from the O'Higgins base after the 2010 earthquake. Several hundred UN personnel, including nearby units from Nepal and Uruguay, are assigned to the city during the 2010-2017 United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti, Minista. History of Cap Haitian The island was occupied for thousands of years by cultures of indigenous peoples who had migrated from present-day Central and South America. In the 16th century, Spanish explorers in the Caribbean began to colonize Hispaniola. They adopted the native Taino name Guarico for the area that is today known as Cap Haitian. Due to the introduction of new infectious diseases, as well as poor treatment, the indigenous people's population rapidly declined. On the nearby coast, Columbus founded his first community in the New World, the short-lived La Navidad. In 1975, researchers found near Cap Haitian another of the first Spanish towns of Hispaniola. Puerto Real was founded in 1503. It was abandoned in 1578, and its ruins were not discovered until late in the 20th century. A street scene in Cap Haitian the French occupied roughly a third of the island of Hispaniola from the Spanish in the early 18th century. They established large sugarcane plantations on the northern plains and imported tens of thousands of African slaves to work them. Cap Francais became an important port city of the French colonial period and the colony's main commercial center. 5. It served as the capital of the French colony of Saint-Domingue, from the city's formal founding in 1711 until 1770, when the capital was moved to Port-au-Prince on the west coast of the island. After the slave revolution, this was the first capital of the Kingdom of Haiti under King Henry I, when the nation was split apart. The central area of the city is between the Bay of Cap Haitian to the east and nearby mountainsides to the west. These are increasingly dominated by flimsy urban slums. The streets are generally narrow and arranged in grids. As a legacy of the United States occupation of Haiti from 1915 to 1934, Cap Haitian's north-south streets were renamed as single letters, beginning with Rue A, a major avenue, and going to Q, 
and its east-west streets with numbers from 1 to 26. The system is not followed outside the central city, where French names predominate. The historic city has numerous markets, churches, and low-rise apartment buildings of three, four stories, constructed primarily before and during the U.S. occupation. Much of the infrastructure is in need of repair. Many such buildings have balconies on the upper floors, which overlook the narrow streets below. Much of the infrastructure is in need of repair. Many such buildings have balconies on the upper floors, which overlook the narrow streets below. With people eating outside on the balconies, there is an intimate communal atmosphere during dinner hours. Cap Haitian Economy Cap Haitian is known as the nation's largest center of historic monuments, and as such, it is a tourist destination. The bay, beaches, and monuments have made it a resort and vacation destination for Haiti's upper classes, comparable to Petionville. Cap Haitian has also attracted more international tourists at times, as it has been isolated from the political instability in the south of the island. It has a wealth of French colonial architecture, which has been well preserved. During and after the Haitian Revolution, many craftsmen from Cap Haitian, who were free people of color, fled to French-controlled New Orleans as they were under attack by the mostly African slaves. As a result, the two cities share many similarities in styles of architecture. Especially notable are the gingerbread houses lining the city's older streets. Cap Haitian Tourism Labadee and Other Beaches The walled Labadee or Labadee Beach Resort Compound is located 10 kilometers 6 miles to the city's northwest. It serves as a brief stopover for Royal Caribbean International RCI cruise ships. Major RCI cruise ships dock weekly at Labadee. It is a private resort leased by RCI, which has generated the largest proportion of tourist revenue to Haiti since 1986. It employs 300 locals, allows another 200 to sell their wares on the premises, and pays the Haitian government U6 dollars per tourist. The resort is connected to Cap Haitian by a mountainous, recently paved road. RCI has built a pier at Labadee, completed in late 2009, capable of servicing the luxury class large ships. Attractions include a Haitian market, numerous beaches, water sports, a water-oriented playground, and a zip line. People not on cruises can visit the beach too. Cormier Plage is another beach on the way to Labadee, and there are also water taxis from Labadee to other beaches, like Paradise Beach. In addition, Belly Beach is a small sandy cove with boats and hotels. Labadee Village could be visited from here. Vertier, Vertiers, is the site of the Battle of Vertiers, the last and defining battle of the Haitian Revolution. On November 18, 1803, the Haitian army led by Jean-Jacques Dessalines defeated a French colonial army led by the Comte de Rochambeau. The French withdrew their remaining 7,000 troops, many had died from yellow fever and other diseases, and in 1804, Dessalines' revolutionary government declared the independence of Haiti. The revolution had been underway, with some pauses, since the 1790s. In this last battle for independence, rebel leader Capois La Morte survived all the French bullets that nearly killed him. His horse was killed under him, and his hat fell off, but he kept advancing on the French, yelling, En avant! Go forward! to his men. He has become renowned as a hero of the revolution. The 18th of November has been widely celebrated since then as a day of army and victory in Haiti. Citadel Henry and Sans Souci Palace The Citadel Laferriere, also known as Citadel Henry, or the Citadel, is a large mountaintop fortress located approximately 27 kilometers 17 miles south of the city of Cap Haitian and 8 kilometers 5 miles beyond the town of Milut. It is the largest fortress in the Americas and was listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1982 along with the nearby Sans Souci Palace. The citadel was built by Henry Christophe, a leader during the Haitian Slave Rebellion and self-declared King of Northern Haiti after the country gained its independence from France in 1804. Together with the remains of his Sans Souci Palace, damaged in the 1842 earthquake, Citadel Henry has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Boise Cayman, Haitian Creole, Bois Cayman, 3 kilometers 2 mi, south of Road RN1, 
is the place where Vodou rites were performed under a tree at the beginning of the slave revolution. For decades, Maroons had been terrorizing slaveholders on the northern plains by poisoning their food and water. Mackandal is the legendary and perhaps historical figure associated with the growing resistance movement. By the 1750s, he had organized the Maroons, as well as many people enslaved on plantations, into a secret army. Makandal was murdered or disappeared in 1758, but the resistance movement grew. At Boyce Kaiman, a Maroon leader named Duddy Bokeman held the first mass anti-slavery meeting secretly on August 14, 1791. At this meeting, a Vodou ceremony was performed, and all those present swore to die rather than to endure the continuation of slavery on the island. Following the ritual led by Bukman and a mambo named Cecile Fadiman, the insurrection started on the night of August 2023, 1791. Bukman was killed in an ambush soon after the revolution began. Jean-Francois was the next leader to follow Duddy Bukman in the uprising of the slaves, the Haitian equivalent of the storming of the Bastille in the French Revolution. Slaves burned the plantations and cane fields and massacred French colonists across the northern plains. They also attacked Cap Francais and some of the free people of color. Eventually, the revolution gained the independence of Haiti from France and freedom for the slaves. The site of Duddy Bokeman's ceremony is marked by a ficus tree. Adjoining it is a colonial well, which is credited with mystic powers. Morn Rouge 1842 Cap Haitian Earthquake on the 7th of May, 1842, an earthquake destroyed most of the city and other towns in the north of Haiti and the neighboring Dominican Republic. Among the buildings destroyed or significantly damaged was the San Susi Palace. 10,000 people were killed in the earthquake. Its magnitude is estimated as 8.1 on the Richter scale. 2010 Haiti Earthquake In the wake of the 2010 Haiti earthquake, which destroyed port facilities in Port-au-Prince, the Port International du Cap Haitien was used to deliver relief supplies by ship. As the city's infrastructure suffered little damage, numerous businessmen and many residents have moved here from Port-au-Prince. The airport is patrolled by Chilean UN troops since the 2010 earthquake, and several hundred UN personnel have been assigned to the city as part of the ongoing United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti, Minista. They are working on recovery throughout the island. After the earthquake, the port of Labadee was demolished and the pier enlarged and completely repaved with concrete, which now allows larger cruise ships to dock rather than tendering passengers to shore. Cap Haitian fuel tanker explosion. On the 14th of December, 2021, over 75 people were killed when a fuel tank truck overturned and later exploded in the Samari neighborhood of Cap Haitian. Cap Haitian Transportation Cap Haitian is served by the Cap Haitian International Airport, Cap, Haiti's second busiest airport. It was a hub for Salsa de Haiti prior to its cessation in 2013. American Airlines operated international flights to Cap for a number of years, but canceled their last connection in July 2020 after the COVID-19 pandemic significantly reduced passenger demand. American Airlines was the last major U.S. flight operator to provide service to CAP and thereby Northern Haiti. In July 2020, CAP Haitian became only accessible by air travel through limited flights from Port-au-Prince's to St. Louverture International Airport. Spirit Airlines, which had previously canceled their service due to political unrest and low demand in 2019, announced in October 2020 that they would resume limited service to CAP in December of the same year. CAP Haitian Seaport The Port International du Cap Haitien is CAP Haitian's main seaport. CAP Haitian Roads The Route National Nr. 1 connects CAP Haitian with the Haitian capital city Port-au-Prince via the cities of St. Marc and Gonives. The Route National Nr. 3 also connects CAP Haitian with Port-au-Prince via the Central Plateau and the cities of Mirabale and Hinch. Cap Haitian has one of the best grid systems in Haiti, with its north-south streets were renamed as single letters, beginning with Rue A, a major avenue, and its east-west streets with numbers. The Boulevard du Cap Haitian, also called the Boulevard Carinage, is Cap Haitian's main boulevard that runs along the Atlantic Ocean in the northern part of the city. 
Cap Haitian Public Transportation Cap Haitian is served by tap-tap and local taxis or motorcycles. Cap Haitian Health Cap Haitian is served by the teaching hospital, Hopital Universitaire Justinian. Cap Haitian Education A union of four Catholic Church private schools have been present for two decades in Cap Haitian. They have higher level grades, equivalent to the lycée that feed the École Normale Supérieure in France. They have high standards of academic excellence, selectivity in admissions, and generally their students come from the social and economic elite. Also, the Lycée Philippe Guerrier that was built in 1844 by the Haitian president, Philippe Guerrier, has been a fountain of knowledge for more than a century. Collège Notre Dame du Perpetuel Secours de Père de Sainte-Croix Collège Regina Assumpta de Sœur de Sainte-Croix École des Frères de l'Instruction Chrétienne École Saint-Joseph de Cluny de Sœur Anne-Marie Javou Lycée Philippe Guerrier built by the Haitian president Philippe Guerrier in 1844 Universities Cap Haitian is home to the Cap Haitian Faculty of Law, Economics and Management, the Public University of the North in Cap Haitian, UPNCH. The new Université Roi Henri Christophe is nearby in Limonade. Cap Haitian Sport Cap Haitian has the Parc Saint Victor home of three major league teams Football Interclub Association, AS Capoise, and Real du Cap. Communal sections The commune consists of three communal sections, namely Ban du Nord, urban, part of the commune of Cap Haitian, and rural. Ha du Cap, urban, part of the commune of Cap Haitian, and rural. Petitance, urban, commune of Petitance, and rural. Cap Haitian Notable Natives Pierre Nord, Alexis, 1820-1910, President of Haiti, 1902-1908. Tancred Auguste, 1856-1913, the 20th President of Haiti, 1912-1913. Etienne Chavans, born 1939-1939, a Haitian painter of crowd scenes. Tyrone Edmond, Haitian-born model. Fred Joseph Jr., Haitian-born philanthropist. Founder and President of Help Us Save Us Nonprofit Organization. Yolette Levy, 1938-2018, Haitian-born Canadian politician and activist. Louis Page Mercier, 1820-1875, Haitian educator and educator. Alfred Auguste Nemours, 1883-1955, military historian and diplomat. Philomé Aubin, 1892-1986, artist and painter. Lionel St. Pro, born 1985, footballer, played 41 games for Haiti. Ulrich Pierre Louis, founder of Orchestra Septentrional. Bruni Surin, born 1967, track and field runner, Olympic medalist, lives in Canada. Mike Below, Haitian entrepreneur. This video is brought to you by Matthew Louis, founder of Best of Haiti Real Estate. Visit our website, bestofhaitirealestate.com.